Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just standing by one of Lisbon's funicular tramways, but unfortunately it doesn't appear to be running, so I'm not actually in prison, I'm just standing outside. Um, so it looks like we have to walk this one, which is a bit of a shame, because I was hoping to take you for a ride down it, but there's two others, so we will hopefully do those ones. So as you can see, this tram goes down, it's counterbalanced against another one so what we'll do we'll walk down as soon as we can't take the tram down and we'll have a look at the we'll see if we can find the other one at the bottom so up here we've got route 25 down at the bottom it connects with route 28 then what i'll do when i've done this i'll go and find the other two see if they're running if you look over there you can see the tagus distance and if you look above there are wires the wires don't actually power the trams, they are purely for the lighting and the communication. So at the moment we have what appears to be six rails, but it's actually two sets of three rails. Because this ball here, that is where the cable is, this is where the wheels sit, another set of wheels sit there, another set of wheels their cable more wear. so it'll become a bit more obvious when we get to the passing loop just down here so it's quite unique this is um to lisbon there are obviously other funicular railways that work in this way but i don't know of any others apart from in lisbon that are actually funicular trams so as in cars and obviously pedestrians as i'm doing now can walk along the same tracks all the other funicular railways i've come across some are a lot steeper than this but you can't walk on the actual track where the funicular carriages run. But as you can see, we're descending quite a lot, so it really is quite a lot higher where Route 28 is than where Route 25 is. I got on the tram on Route 28 at Astrella, where there's a turning loop, and that's where Route 25 and Route 28 join together. Look how steep that is. I don't know if I want to drive down these streets. Um, and then here, it almost looks like a roller coaster, it just disappears in front of us. The track is incredibly steep. Now it looks like we can't actually go right through to where Route 25 is because it's like a little shed and all the doors are closed. But we'll perhaps go right up to the doors. This is really something like I've never seen before. If it was wet, this would be incredibly slippery. What I'm going to do when I get back up to the top, I'm either going to get a tram or walk and we'll go and find one of the other funiculars. Hopefully that one will be running. But let's go right down where we're supposed to do this, but I'm going to go right up to the door so we can have a look at the other tram car. The one at the top was a bit covered in graffiti. The other one, this one looks in better condition. I'll tell you in Mediterranean when you see oranges lying on the floor. That's an orange tree just up there. So if you look through there, you can see it, but there is the other tram car. So I'm going to now walk up this incredibly steep tramway and I'm going to go and find the other Flico trams.
So here we are on the Filippo Travel. That costs three euros eighty for single trip. If you have a travel card, then you just touch it on that, and um, you don't pay any extra. So that's the best way to do it. That's looking forward. So the, unlike the other one, it's a level carriage, but with the wheels are permanently on the slope. I'll just let you have a quick look out the window. I'm going to film the journey down, so you get to see all the journey down. I'll also do a bit of filming of the trams going up and down as well. So, time to go down. Down. I'm now going to get off and try and find the next vehicle. As you can see out here, there's a much bigger cube waiting to go up the hill than there is to go down the hill, so I'm glad it came down. There it goes, a view of the vehicle. So the next funicular we're heading for is somewhere in that direction. So I'm going to go over that, go over and find that, and um, up we go. So yeah, came down on number one. Coming down to one of Lisbon's many squares. They do say that Lisbon, like Rome, is built on seven hills. I can certainly believe that with all these funiculars and these trams they've got going up and down. So yeah, here we are. One of the main squares. I'm going to go and find the old funicular now. Leave you with a last look of the one we've just come down on. There we go. Just walking down the back street now looking for this funicular. I think we probably aren't far. It's probably somewhere going to be somewhere along here. Ah, oh, yeah, here we are. Is it going? That's the question. Well, here it is. Found it. Say so it looks very similar to the other one. Where's it going to go? Well, let's go and have a look. Again, a bit too much graffiti for my liking, but still. Looks like it is working, so 
yeah, I'm going to have to go and um, get on it. Again, it looks like it's into those track and then they separate just up there. So yes, we've descended. It's time to descend now. So we've arrived at the top of the funicular. And this one has more like a station. It's got like little platforms. You go up these steps which will take you out onto the street. The others have been more like tram stops, but this one's more like an actual station. If we go down into the other platform, you get a better view of the tram we've just come up. Now it must be that it's slightly steeper here. It is down the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but the floor in the tram is facing slightly downwards. So yeah, here we are at the top of the third and final funicular also. Just like Lisbon and the rest of Portugal has a lot of ceramic tiling so hope you enjoyed this video from the lisbon tramways thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe tell your friends etc thank you very much for watching goodbye